<laughs> we have a segment we do, Matt, uh-huh. where we just do a random, our, our great, a trusty uh, intern, James, who I think really does just basically like light a spliff and watch a couple Alex Jones clips and then shoot it to us. <laughs> but we do a random Alex Jones. Okay. And what I like about this clip, first of all, I, we are gonna we did actually review this one because there literally is a subliminal message in it, and it's actually legitimately terrifying. Literally like a frame. Yeah, like this is no joke, and it's terrifying. Also, anytime Alex Jones shares screen time with anybody else, is it just a treat? <laughs> so here it is. Here's some random yeah, he, Alex Jones. He's not the most uh, hospitable host, I think you would say. I think he's really bad for me because I think that I need to... I think I've gotten better, but I think as I've, you know, Mike Hogg less, interrupt less. And if you watch Alex Jones, you're like, I'm the fucking Gandhi of the spoken word medium. I (laughs) I am am the most polite. Do you think he has a producer who forces him to have other people on his show? Because it always feels like... I don't know, because it's like if he's bringing people on a show and then he gets really mad. No, I think what happens is I think he's like, we need to bring them on. We need to bring them on. And then someone else is on. He's like, oh, fuck this. This guy's talking. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's play this. Simply cannot be trusted. He has proven this himself time and time again. It's his own lies and his own contradictions that have proven it. And that is why this is a profound test for journalists. A profound test. Will you really attack him more? He's up there buggy whipping like he's the boss. Ban InfoWars. InfoWars is a DZ. Talking about Brian Take Jones off the air so he can't respond, so I can lie about him, and he can't respond to me. This is the cult of this little son of a bitch. Well, it's uh, perfect <laughs> that he actually looks and acts like George Costanza. You know, Costanza kind Was of a, a cheap skate. But he's- I love, too, though, that in it, Alex Jones knows himself well enough to be like, we're going to have a real big drop in talent level. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's sitting next to me is going to look like sort He's of a... replacement level. Yeah. It's just like, I want him to look like a confused, overgrown, by mitzvah boy, except not Jewish, who's maybe taking some kind of oral exam he didn't uh, train for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's kind of the Dan Quayle effect. <laughs> Conspiracy quail. Yeah. George Costanza. You know, Costanza kind of a, a cheap skate. But he's a lovable mister. guy. Don't compare well, George no. Costanza to this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Poster guy, boy the, point for... is, the point is he's a joker. He's a con man. You can't trust him. But that, you know that's the spokesman for lock up your kids, man. Pennywise Stelter. But you know what, Alex? Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait, what? He just called him Pennywise. No, yeah. what's the whole spokesman for lock up your... Uh, oh, I don't even know. So Alex got mad that... Uh, I fr- what is his name again? Wait, did Brian Stelter cover his ex-wife? Is that what it is? Oh, I don't know about that. Cover her with what? <laughs> 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 Be careful, I'll spill the beans on your wife, Ted. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Alex got mad that... Uh, I forget that kid's name. Um, but he, he that he compared Stelter to Costanza, and <laughs> Alex Jones thinks this is offensive to George Costanza. No, I got that part, but I think you know, I think what Matt's asking about, I have no idea that this is your lock up your kids guy. Well, that's why I I'm saying he's like, how could is. you compare him to George Costanza when he looks like a pedophile? Oh, that, that's oh, what I, that, that's what I, I thought he was okay, saying. Okay, yeah, got yeah. it, got it, yeah. got it, got it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I do like that. We Da-da, finally this, we found you know a Jew saying. that he likes. Uh, go ahead, Costanza to this. You know what I'm saying. It, Poster the guy, boy the point, for, is, the point is, he's a joker. He's a con man. You can't trust him. But that, you know that's the spokesman for lock up your kids, man. <laughs> Pennywise Stelter. But you know what, Alex? Here's the thing. You'll float you too. This? Yeah. Here, oh, he's floating all right. Here's the thing. I, I would love to <laughs> see that. <laughs> Did you see that? I saw that. That literally happened. That was awesome. <laughs> all right. So if you're listening and you really got to watch this, I can't, he I can't even scrub he can't even scrub it. They literally drop Pennywise in. For a split second, we're gonna play it again. <laughs> okay, I admire that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the, Boy, point for... is, the point is, he's a joker. He's a con man. You can't trust him. But that, you know that's the spokesman for lock up your kids, man. Pennywise <laughs> Stelter. But you know what, Alex? Here's the thing. You'll float too. Yeah. Here, oh, he's floating all right. Here's the thing. I, I would love to wind up. <laughs> And punch <laughs> Brian Stelter right in the face. But here's the problem. He's yeah, really? not even there. He's not really there. He's an aberration. He's 
Let's he's be like, clear. Wait, 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 stop, 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 dude, stop. Dude, no, no, real quick, real quick, Matt. Go, but just like, dude, don't fucking try to do the master's craft when you're not even a sensei yet. Stop can, can, it. Can we? I mean, that's that's a better malapropism than any yeah. professional <laughs> athlete is, right? Because he's he's trying to say both aberration and apparition, <laughs> and he get he gets it confused. You know? wait, wait, play that again. I missed that. Here it comes. I'm sorry. To wind up and punch Brian Stelter right in the face. But here's the problem. He's not even there. He's not really there. He's an aberration. <laughs> he's, he's like, <laughs> Yo, that's a new drop. That's definitely a new drop. <laughs> An apparition that is an aberration. aberration? It's a double negative. (laughs) There's a bit more. I don't wish any harm on him, a Democrat shooting members of Congress and breaking Ron Paul's ribs and and calling for violence. We're peaceful. No, I'm just I'm just saying he he's <laughs> not see that's what it is. We won't know what Trump and Putin say. Doesn't he look like the subway spokesperson? <laughs> oh my god. Don't I think he's, he's, he George looks more Costanza like Pennywise. a great comedian. Get, don't compare him. Jason <laughs> Alexander's a great comedian. We <laughs> George love George is not a real Put person. Put him next to Pennywise. But but he said it all in the opening. He says, We're not gonna know what Trump and Putin say. Alex oh my gosh, Brian. You yeah, mean, he is. You're you're gonna be crapping your little adult diaper because Trump and Putin <laughs> might be conspiring to make the world a better place. Oh, oh no, Stelter, what will you do? He's an aberration. He's fake. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's actually Jared from Subway. I thought that was Brian Stelter. No, it's an they aberration. Must be- <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I just think he looks like. No, I'm just saying he floats with the rest of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying he scares the hell out of me. He's one scary looking dude. Well, anybody who's willing to go He's on got the look. He's got the look. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. He's got the look. Anybody who's willing to go on. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Oh, hey, oh, all right. That's uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, right, daughter. Right. Her beard. Mr. Ed. That is. Uh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Wow. Of course. Jesus. I didn't even, I, we didn't even watch it all the way to that point before. Imagine doing that five days a week. That's wow. your job. <laughs> That's your job. Your job is to like look like you have a chromosome I am, missing I'm gonna try to figure to out, Alex Jones. I'm going to try to figure out how to put a subliminal screens into the majority report feeds, though. I like it. Like a social security is solvent. <laughs> what would be mine? What would mine be occasionally like a picture of Chronix or something? It'd be that Jordan Peterson crying still. <laughs> All right, let's take a call. You're calling. It, it, maybe while the call's on, maybe we could find... Can I just find... say that I, I used to have a fantasy that your remote control would have a an instant leather face button where you could press it <laughs> and leather face would come on and just chainsaw everybody's heads off on the screen anyway i'm sorry no I, that I, that I, is that would the world would be wouldn't that be like yeah. make your i'm sorry okay. we're not calling for anything violent but we're just saying the world would be better if that would happen I mean, it wouldn't be real. It wouldn't be real. It'd be in your there, fantasy, but it would be, be an aberration. What yeah. it be? An, aber, aber, an, ab- an aberration. An aberration. <laughs> that is so, that's wouldn't it be cool if you... What, 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 uh, Matt, I was thinking, what if you could just conjure an aberration? <laughs> it'd be Leatherface. But it wouldn't be real, but it'd be an aberration. Because <laughs> oh, these guys are aberrations anyways. They're not even real. <laughs> oh, my God.